Hello everyone, my name is Smithy and welcome back to RuneScape for Dummies. So today we're going to be going through our first ever Slayer Guide. In this one, we're going to be going through Hellhounds. Hellhounds are probably, uh, they're not the best and they're not the worst tiles that you can get. The uh, the drop rate, the, well, the drops that they give aren't very good, um, but they do drop 1 in 64 uh, hard clues. Uh, you also have a really, really, really small chance of getting a smouldering stone. But uh, yeah. If you've got decent RNG, you might get one of them. I doubt it, though. That's normally for Cerberus. Um, but anyway, uh, XP-wise, they're 116 XP per kill for Slayer. Um, the way Slayer works is you get 1 XP for each hit point that they, uh, the monster has that you're slaying. Uh, this is for the level 122 variant that's in the Catacombs of Karend. Uh, and that's where we're going to be doing... Um, well, carrying out this guide as well. You do have an option of the ones that are over in the Gnome Stronghold, uh, right by where Neve or Steve is, um, just in that, that cave there. Uh, but today we're going to be going through the Catacombs of Karend because the Catacombs of Karend have a couple of perks that are actually going to help us out with the task that we, uh, like the Hellhound task. Um, if you have completed the Mauritanian Hard Diary, um, I would 100% recommend that you bring your Bone Crusher. The Bone Crusher, if you don't know what that is, uh, automatically buries bones for you, which means that you get the Prayer XP, and when you're in the Catacombs of Karend, every time you bury a bone in there, you get one Prayer Point back. So, when you're killing Hellhounds, it's normally best to wear your best prayer defense, or best, best prayer enhancing armor. So, to go for, quickly through our setup, um, I have the Slayer Helm on, and then I have a um, Max Prayer gear. So I've got a proselyte, um, proselyte body and proselyte legs. I've also got an Honourable Blessing. That could be any blessing that you can get your hands on. Uh, these will give a prayer bonus. See, we've got a plus 20 prayer bonus. You could also bring a um, uh, the, the, the Holy Wrench as well to give you some more uh, boost on your prayer pots when you're using them. Uh, and then I've got um, Strength increasing armor, as, uh, in, increasing armor as well. So I've got my Barrow's Gloves, I've got an Imbued Berserker Ring. That could be a Warrior's Ring or whatever your best in slot ring is. Um, I've got a Dragon Defender, again, whatever your best in slot defender is. I've got a Dragon Scimitar, again, whatever your best in slot is. Um, I would probably upgrade this with Whip, uh, but I'm currently an 85 Slayer. I am an Iron Man. Uh, and I haven't been blessed with the RNG of boosting and getting one yet. So, uh, F in chat for me, please, lads. Uh, and then I've got a fire cape, whatever your best in slot cape is. Uh, and then I'm using a glory. Uh, this one, it's a T4 one, because uh, that's all I have my, I've got my hands on. Um, again, whatever your best in slot uh, amulet is. And same with boots. You could use climbing boots, or you could use uh, rune boots, uh, whatever. Whatever, again. Whatever your best in slot is, mate, just use it, all right? It's prayer that we're focusing on. Um, you can probably see that I've got quite a few prayer pots. I've got, what, uh, seven there. Um, you can bring as many as you want, depending on how many you need to kill. Um, I've also got a little bit of food, just in case I do run out of food, uh, run out of prayer, and, uh, I do get teamed up a little bit. I do have some backup food. Uh, and I've also got a spec weapon as well. Um, in this case, I've got a dragon dagger poison plus plus. Uh, and then I do have a rune pouch with me. This is just because I have one, and I mean, you're not going to need to worry about picking up too much stuff because they don't drop anything bar clues, uh, and you only get one of them at a time. Uh, so I do have my home teleport in there. So quickly to go through how you get to where we're going to be slaying the monsters, um, I normally use the um, home teleport uh, because sometimes I do it while I'm on my farm run and I stop off at the uh, patch here. Uh, but you can use the glade teleport um because you drop right by an altar. If you don't have prayer pots, I know for some Iron Men, you don't have the uh, the herb lore, or you you don't have the farming uh, level to plant um, Renars or whatever your better prayer <laughs> restoring pot is. Um, you've got an altar here that you can quickly teleport to. You've also got a bank. Um, you could use the Karen teleport um, as well. If you have that unlocked, you need to go to um, the Archaeus Library and find some special bloody book to get that uh i personally haven't done it because i never used the bloody spell uh and also if you've got the xerix heart teleport um you could use that if you've got the xerix talisman as well but in this case i'm going to be using my home teleport just because you know i, I don't have as many lizard and fangs as i'd like and i've got quite a lot of <laughs> law runes um just to be perfectly honest with you uh so if you are going to use the method that i'm going to be using to get here you literally you uh, teleport to the glade if you need to pop into the auto, you can. If you need to pop into the bank, you can. Run across this bridge, up round, down the town, and then up to the uh, 
the uh, Catacombs Karend here, which is right in the center of Zaya, um, that you can uh, you can get over from Port Sarim over to the, uh, the, the uh, inverted commas chart. I can't remember Vaios Vaios in you can teleport uh, travel over using Vaios if you do need to. Um, so to go into the quickly into the uh, um, a little bit of more of an advanced setup. Um, an advanced way to kill these as well. What you could do is have a ring of wealth. Ring of wealth. Um, by default, it picks up coins and tockles and numulites, num num whatever the hell they're called. Uh, by default, if they're on the ground, it will pick it up for you. But if you get the imbued version, uh, any monster that you kill in the wilderness that drops a clue, the rate is halved. So. For Hellhounds, it's 1 in 64. If you're killing them in the wilderness with a Ring of Wealth um, equipped, the imbued version, uh, it'll be 1 in 32. So you've got a higher chance of getting uh, hard clues from them. Uh, and if you are doing Wilderness Slayer, you know, it's a little bonus, isn't it, mate? It's a little bonus. But um, obviously, you need, um, if you are an Iron Man, you need uh, 55 crafting to make the ring and then 68 magic to uh enchant it as well and then you need to go and get the uh <laughs> go and get the imbue um which off the top of my head i can't remember i think it's from uh, bound, uh bounty hunter or is it lms one of them um but yeah you can look into that this isn't an imbuing guide but uh getting back to the task at hand I'm now going to take you through how you actually get to the Hellhounds. So you've made your way to the middle of Karend. You've made your way to the Catacombs. You're going to drop down. You're going to investigate the statue. And uh, when you come down, if you're looking true north, you go west. And then you go north when you get into this little room here with the skeletons. Uh, they are aggressive monsters, Hellhounds, as you'll see as we go in here. Uh, and it also it is a multi-combat area. Um... If you do have things like piety, you could whack that on as well, just to give yourself a little bit more damage. Um, but it does mean that you are going to rinse through your prayer a little bit quicker. Um, I'll just get a kill here, and I'll show you what I mean with Bone Crusher. Um, like I said, Hellhounds are a nice task for XP rates to an extent, um, but they do have a pretty good drop rate on hard clues. So if you are trying to find some hard clues, and you've got a Hellhound task, you might want to think, okay, maybe I don't skip this one, and maybe I go and do it and get some, get myself some hard clues. Especially if you do have that uh, Ring of Wealth. Look, you can see here that my prayer is going to pop up to 64 again. Um, that's because the Bone Crusher has put that put the put the bones in the ground for us, and uh, also given us the uh, the XP rate or the XP for that as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's not really much to it other than you know the setup which we've gone through. Uh, stats wise I mean they're not that hard to kill um, the only the only real step up that really you could do is get a 91 slayer and start killing Cerberus because he counts towards um, well you, you can only kill him on task and it's a hellhound task to kill him unless it's a boss task um, so yeah if you can if you have the level kill Cerberus if you get hellhound tasks if not use this guide to uh get your normal hellhounds deaded stab them up mate you know what i mean uh <laughs> but um yeah i mean there's not really much to it the hellhounds um they've got no funky mechanics um you've only got a literally they're, they're really good for afk in you whack on you protect from melee you 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 aggro a few of them you sit back you watch your netflix you do whatever else you're doing with your day you make sure you keep an eye on your prayer to keep it up and, uh, yeah, the only requirement is having a 43 prayer, which means that you get overheads. But I think you probably already knew that if you're watching this. Um, <laughs> and if you're going to slate me in the comments for, doing, for saying that nine minutes into the video, uh, fair enough. I probably should have said it at the start. You're right. <laughs> but anyway, another thing to note about Karend is that you also can get ancient shard drops, as we've got one here. Uh, and also, uh, the three different totem pieces drops, which means that if you put them together, you can then start killing Skatizo, uh, uh, which can go towards black demons or greater demon tasks. Uh, so that's another little perk of Karenge that I thought I'd add in here, um, but I totally forgot to do when I was first recording this. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, another little perk of Karenge, bar the uh, the uh, prayer, 
prep wins uh, regenerate him. Any of the Slayer Masters can give you a Hellhound task. Um, so you don't have to go to specific Slayer Masters if you need to get a task or if you want to do Hellhounds for some particular reason. Um, you can go to any of them and uh, spin the RNG wheel on if you get a Hellhound task. But they're normally pretty frequent when you're a lower level, um, when you haven't uh, progressed your Slayer. Because you unlock Hellhounds from level 1 Slayer. Um, you don't need any particular level unless you're killing Cerberus, which is 91 Slayer. Just to add in, to give you an idea of about XP rates, um, I'm currently on the task I'm currently on. I'm currently about 20 kills into my task, let's say. And I'm currently sitting at about 16,000 experience per hour. Uh, that's without any piety prayer on. That's without any uh, stat increase in pots or um, other type of boosts. Uh, so to give you an idea of if you were a low level player with a similar setup to the one that I'm using, um, that's kind of the XP you can kind of uh, expect, 16,000 XP an hour. Um, obviously that's not bad for sort of the lower levels, um, but when you are getting towards, you know, the higher 80s, the 90s, it's not the best. But again, if you are trying to farm hard clues, Hellhounds are not a bad option. I just thought I'd throw this in here just to give you some stats, some lovely figures for your faces. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, hit that like button if you are new around here. Subscribe for more. If there are any other Slayer Monsters you want to see me make a guide on, or if you've got any questions, please do feel free to pop them in the comments. And uh, yeah, I also stream over on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash smithytv. Link is in the description or the pinned comment. Uh, come and hang out. I stream Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. So if you want to see my main series, which is the Iron Man Progression series, live, and also me making some of these guides live as well, um, come and join in the chat. But anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Take it easy, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!